I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. A fire early this morning destroyed the interior of a house at a horse farm in the town of Goshen. The three-alarm blaze was discovered shortly after 2.30 a.m. in the multi-story residence at the dead end off Hampton Road. There was uh, no one inside when the fire broke out. Goshen Fire District Chief Daniel Kaplicki said firefighters from Goshen and surrounding communities pulled out of the house after it was determined it was unoccupied due to the intensity of the smoke and flames. We started with an uh, offensive attack by meeting the sanitaria firefighters inside to uh, uh, attack the fire from the inside. Uh, but uh, we, had, uh, we had to evacuate the building due to the, uh, the amount of fire that we had, and we went with all of the uh, defensive attack. So it's pretty much uh, uh, engulfed when you guys got here? It was fully involved, yes. Kaplicki says a few firemen needed hospital treatment for minor injuries. The cause of the fire had not been determined. State police investigators were on the scene. Amid word, the electricity to the house had been cut off two weeks before. In Sullivan County, Sheriff's Department investigators are looking into an accident last night that injured three people, one of them seriously, and tied up traffic for a couple of hours. It happened at around 7.20 p.m. on Route 17 eastbound near Bridgeville. According to the Sheriff's Department, a car driven by 27-year-old Corrine Lundwall of Monticello went out of control and slammed into a barrier at the Neversink River Bridge. As Lundwall was attempting to get out of her disabled vehicle, it was rammed from behind by a pickup truck. The driver of the pickup, 53-year-old Arcelis Diaz of Wurzboro, and Lundwall's uh, passenger, 26-year-old Heather Half of Monticello, uh, were being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Lundwall suffered serious injuries and was initially rushed to Community General Hospital. Foggy, cloudy weather conditions prevented emergency personnel from airlifting her to Westchester Medical Center. No tickets had been issued pending completion of the investigation. Words of praise uh, from the state's uh, chief judge for the actions of Middletown's court security officers uh, during last week's fatal shooting incident in the lobby of the Middletown court facility. Chief Justice Jonathan Lipman uh, made reference to the security officer response during a state of the judiciary speech Tuesday in Albany. Middletown resident Tim Mulqueen was shot by a court officer after Mulqueen burst into the lobby and fired off rounds from a shotgun. The Norwich County Grand Jury will review the actions of all involved in the February 8th fatal shooting. A young woman from Middletown faces the felony charges of grand larceny and possession of stolen property in connection uh, to the theft of a New York State food stamps benefit card. Town of Wallkill Police, a 20-year-old Felicia Vavrika stole the card, then used it in a bank ATM where she withdrew $500 from an account. Vavrika was being held on $2,500 bail pending a court appearance on Friday. Well, apparently a number of people in the Pine Bush area aren't getting the message when it comes to protecting valuables in their cars. Town of Crawford police say they've been uh, getting a rash of calls from residents who've been victimized by larcenies from vehicle incidents. Everything from a cash to electronic devices are being stolen, and police say all the thefts occurred in parked, unlocked vehicles. While police uh, investigate, they urge residents to keep cars locked and valuables out of sight. And it's a big honor for a local man who's overcome uh, a major health obstacle to gain prominence in the world of basketball. Faisul Ali of Bloomingburg had his uh, right leg amputated about 12 years ago because of a blood clot. Faisul, who uh, we caught up with during a practice session today at the Middletown Y, has been making his mark in the world of wheelchair basketball as a member of the Roland Knicks a team in the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. Now comes word that Faisul has uh, been chosen to the NBA All-Star wheelchair, wheelchair Classic team that'll be uh, playing next week during the NBA All-Star Jam session, a reward that he says is the result of lots of hard work and dedication. I was uh, very, very happy. I had worked the past four years to be on the national scene and to be selected for the National All-Star team is a great honor for me and to be in the same sentence uh, with the rest of the guys representing the East Coast and West Coast, dream come true to me. Reporter Kevin Gleason will have a full report on Faisul's selection and accomplishments in an upcoming edition of the Times-Herald Record. 
Our weather should improve by the end of the work week. Thursday will be cloudy with rain developing later in the day. The highs will be in the mid 40s. Once the rain moves out, we will be left with a partly cloudy day Friday and temperatures should hit the 50 degree mark. When news breaks, a record online is the place to find it and start your day with the information you need by reading tomorrow's Times Herald record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.